Hey y'all! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Roxanne and on this channel I do all sorts of nail content. Demos, hauls, how-tos, you name it. In this video I'll be showing you how I created this beautiful press-on set. If you're interested, just keep watching. Hey guys! How are you? I hope you're having an amazing day so far you guys. So as you can tell, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. Um, I've already prepped my tips and I believe I got these on Amazon. I'll try to find the link and put them in the description box. Um, but now I'm just going in with this beautiful blue. This is called The Blues by Born Pretty. Um, I did do a swatch. This is from a gel set that they sent me a few weeks back. So I will go ahead and link that video in the cards for you guys. Um, you guys, to be honest, I did not even need two coats. I could have done well with just one coat, but because I'm creating press-ons, I did go ahead and add two coats. Of course, I cured for 60 seconds in between each coat. Um, so once I like what that looks like, you guys, I did go in with, um, I believe it's chalk white or chalk board or something from DND. I will of course have that link for you in the description box as well and I'm just going to add that to the index and the ring finger. So I'll hush. I'll let you guys watch this. I'll be back in two seconds. I'll hush. You watch. You guys so now for the fun part um, you guys for those who have missed it I did do an unboxing um, showing this tool I picked up from Amazon a few weeks back I will link that in the cards above but yeah you guys here I'm just showing you where the one end is a rounded sponge and the other end is a more pointed sponge um, and then I'm just showing you guys how easy it is to replace or switch out those little sponges. Um, and then they did give you two spares, two of those pointed and then two of the rounded sponges as well. So now we're going to go ahead and just get started you guys. So I'm taking my sponge and this is the rounded end. And you guys saw I took a very little bit of that blue gel and then I I sponged off the excess onto my palette and now you guys see I'm just going in and I'm just building up that airbrush effect onto the nail you guys one thing that I learned when doing this is that you do not want to be heavy-handed you don't want to go in too heavy with your gel color um, because you are trying to create a dusted effect or an airbrush effect or an ombre effect and if you go in with too much product onto your sponge it will look harsh on the nail so as you guys can see I'm just doing that um, just taking up a little bit of that purple, sponging it in with the blue, trying to create a blend, and I will be bringing that all the way up the nail, you guys. Um, another thing I do want to mention, um, you guys may notice, it is sped up just a little bit here, but you may notice that every once in a while, I do twist the tool, I do twist the stem of the, of the tool so that I can get either um, a less amount of gel onto the nail or more of the gel onto the nail. So if I want, um, a more sheer look I will kind of twist the tool to where there's a little bit less gel product if I wanted a heavier look or more gel polish onto that part of the nail I will then use um, a part of the tool that has more gel polish on it if that makes sense so I'll hush I'll let you guys watch this I'll be back in two seconds I 
I just wanted to come in to tell you guys that I actually did not speed up this part. Um, this part of it is in real time because I don't know if you fully understood what I said in my last audio clip. So I will hush, I'll let you guys watch the way I'm doing this. Hopefully you can see exactly what I meant in my last audio clip. I'll hush, I'll hush. You watch. have my accent nails taken care of or at least for right now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my French tip nails and I'll be using that white from D&D that you guys saw me use earlier to do just that so as you guys see I'm literally just taking the brush that comes with the gel polish and I'm gonna go ahead and create my French tip and then I'm going to use my acetone and this number eight gel brush by McCart to really define that French line once I like what this looks like, you guys, I will go ahead and cure that nail for a full 60 seconds before going in with my second coat of white, um, applying it just as you saw me do there, and then cleaning up with my number eight brush and my acetone. I will be doing this to all of the nails that did not have that airbrush effect on it. So I'll hush. I'll let you guys watch this. I'll be back in two seconds. I'll hush. You watch. guys so now that we have that taken care of I'm going back to my accent nails and I'm gonna add those beautiful pixie crystals that you guys see right above me um, so I'm using the Moravon rhinestone kit you guys um, and that was their rhinestone glue you saw me applying 
then of course without curing that I am going in and I'm just gonna go ahead and add those cute little pixie crystals and those little pearls some silver some gold some translucent I thought this was really really pretty and a great addition to this nail set so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna line that right up against that line I created using the airbrush effect and that white once I like what that looks like you guys I will go in and I will add two butterflies to the very top of the nail um, and then once I like what their positioning looks like I will cure this nail for a full 60 seconds so I'll hush I'll let you guys watch this I'll be back in a little bit So now it is time for top coat. So I'm going back over that white just to make sure that that area of the nail remains matte. Sometimes when I use a rhinestone glue, it'll create like a raised glossy effect and I really did not want that for that section of the nail, you guys. Um, so of course that's what I went and did. Um, now you guys see me adding my Intense Seal Top Coat. This is by IBD and it's actually been one of my favorites over the last few weeks. Um, also from Amazon, of course, will be linked down below. You guys, here is the final look and I think these came out so cute. Um, I actually made these for my sister and she loves them. Um, I thank you guys so much for the suggestion of creating press-ons and doing this video for you guys. I definitely will be doing more videos just because I feel like I'm stretching myself and you guys know I love to do that. So here is what they are looking like as a set, you guys, and I had so much fun creating these nails. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something, you guys. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what it is you want to see next. You guys know I love your suggestions. I love your comments, and I respond back to every single one of them because I want you guys to know I appreciate your time just as much as you appreciate mine. You guys, I love you so, so much, y'all. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe because, baby... We are growing around here. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.